Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to check about the Accenture's updated pattern and syllabus for 2021 batch for on-campus hiring. So Accenture has started its on-campus hiring in various zones across our country and this video will help you understand the updated pattern and syllabus. So before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications about such updates. So let's start. First, let us understand the eligibility criteria. Most important point, this is an on-campus opportunity only for the students of selected colleges who are eligible for Accenture. Okay, so there are some colleges which Accenture has selected and only the students from those colleges will be eligible. Again, I will repeat, this is not an off-campus opportunity. So don't ask for any application link or uh, registration link. So that registration or application link will be provided to you by your training and placement officer or Accenture directly on your email. Okay, so this is an on-campus opportunity. Remember that. Now students from BE, BTEC, MC are eligible. You need to have a minimum of 6.5 CGP or 65% in your academics. There should not be any active backlog. One year gap is allowed after 10th standard till the end of graduation. Okay, one important thing. Accenture have made PAN card mandatory in their entire selection process. Right during the registration, you need to uh, you need to have a PAN card. And if you are not uh, having a PAN card still, then you need to apply for that particular thing immediately. Again, this year Accenture is offering two job roles similar to last year. So the first is associate software engineer. The package is 4.5 lakhs per annum and software engineer. The package is 6.5 lakhs per annum. Depending upon your performance in the selection process, you will be getting, you will be eligible for these particular packages. So this is the selection process. Let us understand the selection process. So there are uh, basically, basically the selection process is divided into three parts, assessment one, assessment two and the interview. Now the assessment one consists of two tests. One is the cognitive and technical assessment and second one is the coding. Okay. Now last year what they had done, the cognitive and technical assessment was compulsory and the coding assessment was only for the students who want to apply for higher package. But this year the coding uh, test is also compulsory. Okay, so uh, everyone has to appear for this coding test. Those who crack the cognitive and technical assessment. Okay, so those who uh, clear the cognitive and technical assessment, there will be a coding round for them. Okay, after that there will be a communication test and then there will be an interview. Now let us check uh, in detail about this particular rounds. The cognitive and technical assessment will have 90 questions and 90 minutes. Out of those 50 questions will be based on English ability, analytical reasoning and numerical ability. So basically this will be based on aptitude. And the 40 questions will be technical assessment. The technical questions will be based on common application and MS office. Pseudo code questions will be there and questions based on fundamentals of networking, security and cloud. The most important thing, there will be sectional and subsectional cutoff. So you need to perform well in the cognitive test. In the cognitive test, you need to perform well in English, analytical and numerical. Also, you need to perform well in the technical assessment. So uh, there will be subsectional and sectional cutoff during this test. Okay. Now. Those students who clear this particular cognitive and technical assessment after 90 minutes, you will be getting a break of 5 to 10 minutes. And in that break, you will also get the result of this particular test. If you clear the cognitive and technical assessment, immediately there will be a coding assessment. Those who cannot clear the cognitive and technical assessment, your process will end over there. Those who have cleared the co uh, cognitive and technical assessment, immediately there will be a coding assessment. Now the coding assessment will have two questions and 45 minutes will be provided. You have to solve the coding question using C, C++, Java, .NET or Python. You can choose any one of these languages to solve your coding assessment. Now those who crack this coding assessment, you will be getting a separate email about the date time of the communication assessment. So basically the assessment one. Okay, so assessment one consists of the cognitive and technical assessment and coding. So this will happen on one day. Those who crack both these rounds, there will be assessment two that is the communication test. The details, the link, the date and time will be provided to the students on your email. Okay. Now, what is the communication assessment? Communication assessment will be of 20 minutes. It will be focusing on checking your skills of sentence mastery, vocabulary, fluency and pronunciation. Now there are various type of questions asked basically in communication assessments. So maybe there can be some questions where they will give you a paragraph. They will ask you to read the paragraph and write it in your own words. 
they will ask you to read the paragraph aloud to check your fluency and pronunciation they will uh, give you some sentence uh, to rearrange them in a proper meaningful paragraph basically para jumble or sentence rearrangement to check your sentence mastery they can even ask you some questions based on vocabulary so the four basic skills which will be assessed during communication skills are given on the screen those who crack the communication assessment you'll get one more email from accenture to book your slot for the interview so interview will be basically for 20 to 30 minutes roughly there will be two interviewers and majorly they will focus on your communication skills and your competencies even some technical competencies so they will focus on learning agility how you can work in a team how you can apply your knowledge in day to day activity so this will be the basic focus of the interview skills they will also check how you communicate during your interview skills also so this is the entire updated process of accenture for 2021 batch on campus hiring now how you can prepare you can prepare with talent battle uh, we have launched our accenture new pattern specific preparation pack so this will definitely help you crack your accenture placement opportunity now let us check what are the contents of this preparation package we are providing 60 hours of concept clearing video course for english ability analytical reasoning and numerical ability all previous year accenture specific questions video course will be provided Apart from that, technical video course uh, will cover questions based on pseudocode, common application and MS Office, fundamentals of networking, security and cloud. There will be a technical video course covering some coding questions, Accenture specific coding questions. Five mock tests will be provided and there will be one mock interview with industry expert which will help you to gain confidence before your actual interview. The price of this package is 1599 and we are going to start the preparation from 26 September. So if you are interested you can purchase this package and start your preparation. The link for this package is given in the description of this video. Thank you for watching the video till the end. If you have liked the way we are sharing various placement preparation videos, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. Apart from that, you can also join our WhatsApp group and Telegram channel. The link for WhatsApp group and Telegram channel is also given in the description of this video. Thank you.